Hello, my name is Anna Matlit and I come from Serbia. I'm a student of Regional Center for Talent Institute Belgrade 2. In this video, I will present you a part of my research work named Influence of Cladophora glomerata algae on a dynamic water treatment. A year ago, I noticed that pollution in Danube River had increased, so I wanted to do something about that. I researched for a long time until I found information that algae, especially Cadophora glomerata, are actually exceptional bioaccumulators and bioindicators of heavy metals. Besides my wish to reduce a pollution in river, I wanted to check that claim and to see how much concentrations of heavy metals algae will actually absorb. Algae samples that were used in this experimental work were divided into two groups. The first group was immersed in clean and filtered water, while the other group was submerged in dining water for a period of seven days. Prior to preparation for ICPOS analysis, the algae were washed with distilled and ionized water. Prepared samples were analyzed on ICP OS spectrometer. It's called inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometry and it is an analytical method used to determine elemental composition of a sample of different nature and algae. For example, we can determine elemental composition of rocks, minerals, air, water, and even biological materials. Here we can see a table of metal concentrations in the samples from dining water, elements cadmium, copper, lead, zinc, chromium, and nickel were not detected in the dining water after treatment with algae, and that means that concentrations were too low for spectrometer to detect. A decrease in concentration can be seen in mercury, magnesium, boron, and iron, but the highest concentrations in the algae themselves were in iron, which is 89.91 ppm, and in magnesium, which is 37.98 ppm. This is a table of a metal concentration in the sample from clean and filtered water. Cadmium, iron, lead, zinc, and chromium were not detected in the clean water after the use of algae. Reduced concentrations were in mercury, magnesium, and nickel. But again, the highest concentration in the algae themselves were in magnesium, which is 55.42 ppm, and in iron, which is 40.98 ppm. In this study, Cladophora glomerata has shown that it can be used for filtration on polluted water. It's important that it reduce some of toxic elements such as mercury and lead because it poses a danger not only to the environment but also to our human health because we take those elements into our body throughout the food chain. Thank you for your attention.